Testimony resumed today in Donald Trump's hush money trial in Lower Manhattan. The former publisher of the National Enquirer returned to the witness stand. He has been detailing the tabloids' operation to suppress negative stories about Trump so that they wouldn't influence the 2016 election. Uh, prosecutors allege the hush money payments to adult film star Stormy Daniels were part of an illegal conspiracy to undermine the integrity of that election. Eyewitness News reporter Anthony Carlo live in Lower Manhattan with the latest from today's court proceedings. Anthony. Sandra, that's right. David Pecker continued to detail this deal he had worked out with Michael Cohen and Donald Trump to bury those stories so that they would not negatively affect Donald Trump's run for the president of the United States. He's being cross-examined right now, so Trump's lawyers are trying to poke holes in David Pecker's testimony. But Pecker today testified that Trump's motivation for wanting to bury those stories noticeably changed when he went from businessman to candidate for the president. David's been very nice, a nice guy. Trump kept it brief and civil when asked about his old pal David Pecker, who now sits 20 feet across from him on the witness stand, answering questions about how his magazine handled Karen McDougal, the Playboy model who went to the National Enquirer with claims she had an affair with Trump, claims that may have been detrimental to his presidential bid in 2016. According to Pecker's testimony, Former Trump fixer Michael Cohen instructed him to essentially buy McDougal's silence. The price, $150,000. Pecker questioned how he'd be reimbursed, to which Cohen replied, Don't worry, I'm your friend. The boss will take care of it. The boss, Pecker says, would have been Donald Trump. Four days before the election, the alleged catch and kill scheme came to light in a Wall Street Journal story. Pecker testified, Donald Trump was very upset, saying, how could this happen? I thought this was under control. The inquirer at the time denied the story. Was that the truth, the prosecutor asked Pecker today? No, it was not, he said. I wanted to protect my company. I wanted to protect myself. And I wanted also to protect Donald Trump. This all setting up what the former president is now being tried for, the alleged falsification of business records to cover up a $130,000 hush money payment to porn star Stormy Daniels. <laughs> Trump, who heard loud cheers during a campaign stop at a construction site before heading to court, more interested in talking about his lawyer's argument before the Supreme Court today that he should receive immunity in the election interference case. If you don't have immunity, you're not going to do anything. You're going to become a ceremonial president. Now, Pecker detailed some heated exchanges he had with Trump after Trump would go on to see Daniels and McDougal do TV interviews after they supposedly had an agreement in place to keep quiet. Pecker said today that he holds no ill will towards Donald Trump, that he still considers him a friend. Well, today he watched his friend as prosecutors asked the judge to impose a number of uh, counts of contempt again on Donald Trump for apparently violating his limited gag order. We're live in Lower Manhattan, Anthony Carlo, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.